the next thing what we'll do is we'll try to understand the tracking method like if you remember in in our hsrp and vrrp also we did tracking method let's take an example in case uh, if this interface goes down let's say what i can do is if this interface goes down so now we'll try to verify the tracking configuration in glpp now normally if you remember we have seen this interface goes down automatically what happens is still the router one is sending the hello messages to router three so the router three will never come to know that this interface is going down that's the reason what i can do is i can track this interface so tracking is something what we did in our hsrp as well as we did in vrrp now similar way here also we can do but there is a slight change in the configuration so in i can say it's there are a lot of changes in the configuration so if you want to track this interface the first thing you need to create a track object so i'm going to create a track object with a track object of one which is going to track that's s1 by 0 interface and it's going to check the line protocol status so if that line protocol status changes down what i should do so the first thing we need to tra create a track object with an mo1 then what we are going to do is now here we are not going to change the priority value like if you remember in case of glbp in case of previous two protocols hsrp and vrrp if if this priority value of the router one is 120 if the other router is 10 i can automatically decrement 30 so that the priority value goes to 90 and then automatically it makes the router 3 as a primary gateway but here in visual bp it's not going to work based on the priority value it is going to work based on the weighted weight value weighting we can say and the default weighting of every router will be 100 that is the default weighting so what i can do is this is one way of configuration i'll go i'll come to this configuration i can simply go to my interface i don't have this commands here so i'll write down i can simply say interface glbp1 uh, interface f0 by 0 glbp1 and i can say waiting whatever the waiting and then i can say track 1 and then i can give a command called decrement 100 so what i'm going to say is i'm i'm going to say here is the default waiting is 100 and if that track object goes down that is what track object here so we are not getting into this configuration this is different configurations something advanced so we'll come to this one now if this object goes down the track object goes down we are saying to decrement the priority value to 100 which means 100 minus 100 becomes 0 now in case of glbp if any device is having the weight of 0 which means it will not be a AVF which means it will not be able to forward any traffic through that gateway this is one of the easy simplest possible solution which we can do if you want to ensure that if this interface goes down we don't want this router to forward the traffic so this is one possible solution we can do or or this is one solution I can say and the other solution is what we can do is we can use some configuration like I can configure the weight which is default is 100 and I can define the lower value let's say the lower value is 90 and the maximum value upper value by default it will take the same 100 and I'm going to say the decrement value of 10 so which means it's going to subtract from 100 weight to 10 it becomes 90 now if any value if the weight value goes less than this lower value automatically that interface will not be able to forward any traffic which means it will not behave as a gateway it will not uh, forward any traffic that is one alternate way of doing the things so there are actually two different ways of doing the things and if you just want to make it very simple i recommend you to just go with a weight uh, 1100 is the default and i can simply subtract 100 to make it zero or else you can even define some lower values for that now it's all up to you how you configure so but these are the two possible ways we can configure the tracking on the glbp okay let us quickly verify this on our routers so i'll go with my second option or let let me go with the first option which i discussed i'll go to my router one and I'm going to track my router one saying that okay router one first I need to create a track object I'm going to say track one I already have a track one I think so so if it is there I'll just remove it track one and then I'm going to say interface track the interface 
I want to track my serial interface which is connecting to my service portal and the line protocol status done so the track object is created and then now I need to link this track object with my GLBP so I'm going to say GLBP now weighted track weight a maximum value so we can define the weight value maximum what you want by default is 100 if you don't define it so I'm just going with 100 and I'll say track I'm going to define the object and I can define the decrement value if you don't define the decrement value there is one more thing in case let's say in my previous configurations here in this example I did not define the decrement value let's say if I don't define the decrement value the default decrement value will be 10 the default decrement value will be 10 but if you want you can define any other value so here I'm not going to use 10 I'm going to use the def uh, decrement 100 totally so I'll go to router 1 and I'll say decrement value it will be 100 so the default weight is 100 I'm not applying that if you want you can even apply that so it's not mandatory you can simply say 100 but I'm not uh, giving this command I want to show you that so the default weighting is 100 and then decrementing also 100 if that interface status goes down okay so verification so if I give show GLPP you can see some configuration here the weighting is 100 which is default which I just discussed the default lower value will be 1 and upper value will be 100 the default values and we right now we are tracking the object 1 and the state is up in case if it is down it is going to decrement automatically 100 so let's make it down okay so what I'll do is I'll go to s1 by 0 interface which we are tracking I'm going to simply say shut down so when that interface goes down automatically now still router 1 is AVG remember that A router 1 will still will be active virtual gateway which is controlling your ARP request because still it is sending the hello messages on router 1 to router 3 but it is only not forwarding the traffic so if I give show GLBP once again for verification you can see weight is 0 which is very low right now the reason is track object is down and decrementing the value now for verification you can try going to router 3, 4, 5, 6 and you can try tracing probably all the trace packets will go from router 3 to reach 12 dot network so I'm not doing that because sometimes uh, to have a proper exact uh, exact output it's you need to you need to really shut down the interface and you have to clear that ARP request it takes time so I'm not going to show you that but if you want to verify try shutting down the interfaces of 4, 5 and 6 and back to no shutdown which is going to ensure that your ARP will be cleared and if you try to trace from 4, 5, 6 all your trace packets will go from router 3 and router 1 will not at all forward any traffic and the reason is the default weight is the deep weight is 0 so it's not eligible to do that so the other way which I discussed I'll quickly show you that other method as well uh, show run interface f0 by 0 I'll try to modify the configurations on this interface and I'll say and I'll remove this tracking and I'll reconfigure it again so I'll say glbp one weight I'm going to say default weight is 100 and I'm going to define the lower value if it goes less than 95 let's say means automatically it is not eligible to forward the traffic less than 95 the default is 0 I'm changing to 95 and then I'm going to say glbp one waiting track one and then sorry not track one yeah track one and then this time I'm not defining any decrement value because if you don't define the decrement value default it will decrement by 10 so I'm just leaving it blank so I'm using the default values for your understanding but it's all up to you to you can use any value and whatever the values you use here so we need to ensure that if it subtracts 10 automatically it becomes 90 which is less than my less threshold value which way which makes your router one not to forward the traffic so I'm not defining any values so if I say show GLBP now the state is down because the interface is still down I did not make that S1 by 0 it's still in down state now it is decrementing the 10 value which I said default the lower value is 95 and now the weight is 90 which is low than what is 
lower value defined so in this case also it is not going to forward the traffic so there are two different methods actually so it will be a little bit confusing but there are two different methods you can uh, you can actually uh, configure the tracking in glbp so i want to ensure that you should know both these methods the next thing we'll see is load balancing okay so let's talk about load balancing in glbp like uh, i discussed that uh, glbp is one of the protocol which is only supporting load balancing the, the only protocol which supports load balancing let us see how it is going to do that so i'm going to take four physical uh, gateways which are acting as one virtual ip address and we have four virtual mac addresses and assume that there is one router which is avg and all the remaining routers are avfs now uh, what is my requirement is the default load balancing method will be round robin round robin is a default method so round robin where each mac address is used to respond to arp request in turn which means everyone will have a equal turn to actually answer the arp request and everyone will have an equal chance to forward the traffic that is what round robin method whereas apart from the round robin we can even define something called host dependent load balancing when in case of host dependent load balancing let's say if this user is trying to forward the traffic from this gateway and every time the traffic coming from this arp this this user it always uses the same physical gateway so a given host will be always uses the same router now you can also do that but if you have less number of uh, hosts generally if you have more number of hosts we don't go with this option so it's all up to you how you want to use but there is one more method called weighted load balancing now in case of weighted load balancing we can define some weight parameters which is going to do load balancing based on the applied weight let's say let's take an example i'm going to say the weight of this router is 100 or i can make it as 200 here and then the weight of this is 100 and the weight of this is 50 and the weight of this is 25 so now if you if you have high speed link let's say this this link is very high speed link now if you compare the weights here now this uh, a router let's give some names a b c d now a gateway is going to forward two times more traffic than b because because of the weight is double than that and similar way let's say if i take one one packet it is going to send one arp message or one host from this side it will be sending two and it will be sending four and this will be sending eight so if you see which means it is going to send eight times more than what d is actually sending so that is something what we can do weight based now the default weight as i discussed all the routers will have the default weight of 100 but what i can do is i can change the weight as per the bandwidth requirement let's say if this link is having very huge amount of bandwidth i can simply increase the weight something 200 to this router so that it forwards uh, more traffic rather than comparing to other gateways now to configure this the command is very simple here we just need to go to interface f0 by 0 and we have to say glbp load balancing when i when i use iverse help you can find all the three methods here now the default method will be this for verification you can go to my command line i can go to my router one and i can simply say i'll make the interface up which, which is shut down actually in the previous uh, pre example we did that so i'll say show glbp i did not change any method if you want you can verify my interface configurations i don't have any load balancing command here which means the default load balancing method will be round robin but if i want i can change my load balancing method to the command will be load balancing and then i can simply say uh, weighted so weighted based on the weight it is going to do or i can simply say host dependent as per your requirement so it's all up to our requirement we can use any one of this load balancing method so so finally what we discussed about the glbp we have something extra uh, information regarding the glbp is the main thing is it is going to forward the traffic uh, multiple gateways will be used to forward the traffic and it is going to have only a virtual mac addresses like you can have up to four physical gateways in one group and they will be having only one virtual ip and all will be forwarding the traffic so that is the one advantage we get in glbp